What is up, everybody? The Hunter GT with TheHunterGT.com. That's right. Go check out the website. What is going on today? We have a twofer, two for one, two different detectors reviewed in one video. We're breaking new ground here on the Hunter GT YouTube channel. The Nocta Macro Mini Horde and the Nocta Macro Midi Horde. They sound similar. Well, they are similar. They're, one has an N, one has a D in the third spot. Midi Horde. I think of musical production or 80s video game music when I think of MIDI, like a MIDI channel. And MINI, I think of something small. And well, it is for something small. It is for the kiddos. As you can see on the box, you see the kids there with the graphics and the little mermaid and the little pirate tyke right there. So as you can see, these are geared for the children. $139.95 is the price at the time of this video. For both models, this is the Mini Horde Cool Kit. It comes with that sand scoop and sifter and some stickers if you want to boy or girl it up. It has some blue and pink stickers there. 139.95. It also comes with a standard version without the extras. Just the detector by itself for 119.95. But you don't want to get that. Don't be a cheap parent. You know, you, you want to get the kids the sand scoop and the stickers. So $139.95 and the MIDI hoard right here is $139.95 as well. So obviously there must be some differences. Yes, there are. They are very similar as you can see from the looks of them. We will unbox them and take a look at them side by side and everything. Very similar, but there are some differences as well. It wouldn't be a Hunter GT video if we didn't go over them. So it's not a comparison video or anything like that. They're both similar products from the same company. So I'm not comparing them. I'm just showing them off. I figured it'd be easier to just review both in one video instead of stretching it out into two separate 20 minute videos. We'll just make it one big half hour video or something like that. So there you go. The Nocta Macro Mini and Midi Horde. Want to pick one of these bad boys up? Who are you going to contact me? Of course, I am a Nocta Macro dealer. I would love to have your business. The Hunter GT at Gmail is my email address. I am also a dealer for all of those rad companies you see down on the bottom of the screen. So without further ado, what do you say we unbox these bad boys, take a look at them, and uh, see what the similarities and differences are, and run them through a few of the Hunter GT pieces coming up next. All right, we have them all unboxed and laid out here. The mini horde on the left, the midi horde on the right. So this one on the left is the cool kit and you see everything that comes with it here. It comes with this little sand sifter with the trowel in there. Look at the trowel. It stays in there when you turn it upside down. It's got like a little tab in the end of the handle there where it stays in there. I think it's pretty cool. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. It comes with these little orange tabs here, these little X marks the spot practice markers here so you can pop these out over a target for your young one or, or you know you go by with your big detector or something like that and say hey check this target out right here they go over it with their little mini hoard or midi hoard here and it beeps and they're like oh X marks the spot so pretty cool pretty cool comes with these stickers here for the faceplate and shaft wraps i guess you could call them for the shaft if you don't like the green you can girl it up with the pink and you can boy it up with the blue there they are not waterproof stickers it says in the manual or the quick guide it says hey these are not waterproof stickers which is kind of a bummer i gotta be honest it's a waterproof detector find some sort of i don't know there, there's got to be some sort of super stick on or sticky stuff that works a uh, quick start guide with both of them here uh you can see and you will uh, we're going to go over a little negative point here you will need a little screwdriver for the battery compartment here see those two little screws uh we'll go over that here in a minute and you're going to need a little pair of snips because it does come packaged connected to the cardboard with these little zip tie things so a uh, word in advance about that so mini hoard on the left midi hoard on the right you can see the arm cuff here these little rubber pieces slide off of the end here if you just want the plastic or you can leave them on if you're in the water you know that rubber on the skin might provide some sort of like texture like a tire on road surface on your skin or, or whatnot so there it is we got some nice tactile buttons here we can see two buttons on the mini hoard left and right the midi hoard has a bottom button here so we will go over that in the menu section some of the differences and similarities between them we can see the shaft is about seven to eight inches longer the upper shaft on the midi hoard compared to the mini hoard six inch concentric coil 
on the left on the mini hoard, the seven inch concentric coral on the midi hoard, coil, spit it out you idiot, seven inch concentric coil, concentric coil on the midi hoard on the right there. So similarities and differences abound, that is for sure. So let's check out the battery compartment here on bottom. We're gonna spin over the midi hoard here. You see this little circular tube type thing. That is where your, uh, see if I can get, it's tough. So there's your two AA batteries inside right there. It, on the side there, see, see on the side? piece there on the arm or on the uh, stand it shows you which direction they go facing up or down they face with the tabs up and so see this little brass tab here's the negative see that little brass tab you got to line it up with the tab there by my thumb here on the plastic here for it to be locked in in place here so uh, trying to do it one-handed it's pretty tight and right there and it's like I said it's pretty tight I don't know if you need a screw I don't know if it needs a screw. I guess you might bump it or something like that and it could come off, but right there in that little tab now when it's aligned over the brass piece is where you place these little tiny screws now. So I'm not really a fan of detectors that utilize this for the battery compartments because if I'm out in the middle of nowhere at the beach with my kids or something like that and the batteries run low, hey, I don't have this. It's going to make for some crybaby Sally tears on my kid probably because their detector's not going to work or my detector's not going to work. Even big boy, I've seen some big boy detectors utilize little screws like that. Stop it. Stop it. I don't want to have to change my batteries with a screw in any way, shape, or form. Make it a, you know, make the screw thing just lock tight by itself or, or whatever, the, the thread, the collar. So anyways, that's my complaint, but... Fantastic detectors on top of that. I mean, for the price, for what you're getting, for the build quality, they're both built like not the macro tanks, like the Simplex, the Amphibio, the Cruiser. I mean, build quality is just super good on them. Um, yeah, it's just, you know, you got the locking tabs down here for the extended shaft. You got the nice bright green coil bolts on there. Yeah, it's just, it's high quality. It's built really good. It's good stuff. Good stuff. Knock the macro, hit a home run with these ones. I mean, the, the build quality alone, the fact that they're waterproof for kids detectors, you know, three feet, they go a meter, you know, you're not diving with them or anything like that. They're at a meter. Both of them are 15 kilohertz. Um, let's see, the mini hoard, what is it? 1.7 pounds on the left. The midi hoard is 1.9 pounds. So 880 grams on this one, 1.9 pounds. 780 grams on this one, 1.7 pounds. The mini hoard, the shaft extends from 63 to 90 centimeters. That's 25 to 35 inches. On the midi hoard, the shaft extends from 83 to 109 centimeters, which is 32.5 to 43 inches um, both of them take double a batteries both of them have a two-year warranty both of them are 15 kilohertz two-tone on the left three-tone on the right this one is ferrous and non-ferrous only the mini hoard this one has low tone mid tone high tone both of them have a pinpoint option no sensitivity option on the mini hoard this one has three levels of sensitivity this one's just turn on and go you just get one sensitivity basically basically on the mini hoard this one has a low medium high sensitivity and a low high volume option you cannot change volume on the mini hoard on the left anything like that um, so iron only discrimination on the left it's got ferrous non-ferrous category only and on the right hand side you have two levels of disc so you can disc out the iron and then the mid-tone and then you'll have the right tone category over on the right they give you like a thumbs up if you want to dig it a thumbs down on the mini hoard uh, we'll go over the displays real quick of uh, both of them the menu setup it's going to be real quick um, both of them have a battery level indicator and auto shot shut off with alarm so when if, you, if your kid just drops it or something like that and they go run off oh i want to go play in the waves or oh look i saw a starfish or something crazy like that at the lake or the beach or something like that then it's not going to sit there and drain the battery out it's going to start beeping and then auto shut off so it'll it'll beep 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 beep, beep after a while and let you know hey i'm turned on and then if that doesn't work and get your attention, it's just going to shut itself off. So kind of a cool feature. We know how the little children are of the world with their electronics and leaving them on and just discarding them off to the side. So 
there you go. So four to eight years old on the left, eight to 12 years old on the right. That's the market for them. Like I said, this one comes in two varieties, the Mini Horde, $119.95 for the plain version, $139.95 for the Cool Kit. I don't see why you wouldn't just spend the extra 20 bucks for the Cool Kit to get the sand scoop, the sifter, the little markers, the stickers. Um, seems well worth it to me. And $139.95 for the Midi as well. So we'll run through the menu and a couple of little air tests, recovery speed test stuff like that coming up next all right excuse the reflection in the background there of the camera in my ugly face but there is no backlight on this one so you're gonna hit power button here you got two buttons on this one so power button pinpoint and then the discrimination for the nail so it comes on there we see two categories we just press that button and it goes ferrous non-ferrous so that's your iron box there that's your good stuff on the right so let's look see thumbs up on the nickel penny and as i raise it you can see the little see the digger guy here so one pile small pile of dirt means shallow target two piles of dirt means medium target large pile of dirt all three means a deep target so you can see as i lift the coil and quite good modulation, listen to that VCO tone. Quite good modulation. And then the, the low tone, and you see the thumbs down. So that's pretty much it. You got the battery symbol over there with the thumbs up and the thumbs down as well. And then it blanks out when your battery is just about dead. And then pinpoint button here, we hold it. You see it turn green? It turns green over the target, the little light. So green for good target. Red for bad target. And then when you pinpoint, as you get closer, it, it's gonna be red at first. See? And when you get right on top of it, it goes from red to green. So that is it in a nutshell. And then we just turn it off by holding it in. There is the mini horde. Let's check out the midi horde next. Okay, so the midi horde now, we got three buttons on it. So power button on the right, we hold that. Now it's on, see our battery signal symbol now has segments on it. We have a little audio option, our sensitivity meter here, and our depth meter is actually gonna be three blocks right here instead of the fancy guy digging with the three little piles of dirt. You're gonna see it be three different boxes right here. So and as you can see up here, we have one, two, three boxes for our discrimination. We click the power button discrimination quick quick button quick press on the power button is discrimination on both of them if you hold it down it turns it off okay you don't want to, don't want to hold it down too long it turns on really fast so it boots on and off really quick so there you go we got low tone here you see it's a nail horseshoe screw mid tone there nickel we got a nickel signal a ring foil and there's your coin signal there. And you see your depth meter there in the middle. So that's it. And same thing, green light for a good target, red light for a bad target. For sensitivity, check the coil out there on the left, see? One, two, three levels of sensitivity. Cycles through them, pretty obvious to figure out. There's level one. Level two, level three for the audio right here. It's got two levels. So I hold that down and see it goes from high or from low to high. So low, you can see it's a little bit quieter. Turn it back up. So there it is, a low and high setting. And then the discrimination works just by blanking out the objects that you do not want. You can see the nickel and the screwdriver now are gone. Little pops here and there. And then the penny is still there. So excuse my awesome camera work, but there it is in a nutshell, the mini hoard and midi hoard menu tones 
discrimination options, all that good stuff. Okay, the mini horde is up first. No sensitivity adjustments available on this one. It's just turn on and go. One sensitivity adjustment, which is just max, I guess. So dime, penny, nickel, quarter, gold ring. I'm not going to do a ton of stuff. And yes, I have the little gold out as well. So 0 .3, 0 0.3 gram picker there and a sub tenth gram picker right there. We'll see if it can get it. We'll start with that. So can it get the small piece? No. Even if I scrub the coil with it, it does not get it. Does it get the 0 0.3 gram piece it does get that it does get that all right so the dime listen to that modulation pretty good it's pretty good that modulation so we're about four and a half inches four and a half inches before it just falls off penny Copper penny, and we're looking at about four and a half inches as well. Nickel, about five, five and a half. We're still at six. We're getting whispers at six, and super whispers at six and a half. We'll say six inches. Quarter. Quarter drops off at about four and a half, five as well. So looks like copper silver range, four and a half, five inches tops. Nickel, it likes an inch higher than that. Clear out to six, basically. So it likes the gold range. 10K gold ring. Isn't that pretty good? Out to five, five and a half. And we're getting little pops and hisses at six inches. So... Yeah, it definitely likes the gold range, the gold and the nickel better than it does the quarter dime penny. So you're looking at about four and a half inches on regular clad and then about five and a half, six inches on a gold ring or a nickel. So pretty decent for a kid's detector, you know, a waterproof kid's detector. You don't want your kid digging eight, nine, ten inches. They're going to get pissed off and frustrated. So I think it, it, it's right where it needs to be six inches or less for a kid's detector. And it's hitting that real good. So let's go check out the midi horde next and see what it does cranked up on all three of those sensitivity levels all right so we're here we have the midi horde and it is cranked up we'll see if it hits that small bit of gold there small tiny tiny little piece there oh it's getting something look at that it's actually getting something that's amazing to me that's amazing to me so in the point Oh yeah, bringing it as iron though. That's definitely the iron tone that it's ringing it as. So let's try the high tone dime. And we're about to five, we're getting hits out to five and a half. So already an inch greater on this one. Penny. Five and a half, we're getting hits. And six, we're still getting some whispers there at six. So an inch better right off the bat. So we should be getting six and a half, seven with this, right? So yeah, seven, seven and a half with a nickel. So we're at seven and a half, we're still getting some hits. And at eight, it drops off. Quarter. About five and a half, we're still getting some beeps. So yeah, about an inch. Man, that modulation is crazy. Gold ring, 10K gold ring. No modulation in the mid-tone, really. Listen, it doesn't really matter with the mid-tone. Starts to modulate out here at the fringe, but not up close. Seven inches on the gold ring. So yeah, definitely same thing with the mini horde. The midi horde loves the gold range much more than it does the clad range. But again, you know, for a beginner detector, we're staying six inches. Uh, well, this one's six and a half, seven inches. So a little bit older, I guess. You're going up a couple inches, an inch or so on each target. So there it is, the mini horde and midi horde. Let's check out recovery speed and call it a video. 
All right, here we go with the mini hoard, the one with the one sensitivity setting. Three dimes coil width apart, roughly. So we can definitely get it to miss. So it's got a passable, passable recovery speed. I'm not going to say it's super fast. Not like the Bounty Hunter Junior or the Bounty Hunter Gold Digger. Um, you know, both of those are under a hundred dollar. They're kids' machines, basically. Ultra fast recovery speeds on those, but you know they're not waterproof. The the uh, build quality is not quite as good as as one of these Nocta Macros or anything like that. Um, but yeah, it's got a passable recovery speed on this mini horde. Let's check out the midi horde and see if it is any quicker. All right, so here is the MIDI horde in my DI, the larger big kid version. So same thing. Yeah, same thing basically. It's passable, you know, pretty quick, but not, I'm not gonna call it fast. I'm gonna call it average basically. It's not slow, but it's not something that I would call fast or speedy or anything like that. So final thoughts coming up next. Well, there you have it guys. The Nocta Macro Mini Horde and Midi Horde. Great little waterproof kids detectors for your young ones, four to eight years old or eight to 12 years old, depending on which version you wanna get. 139.95 for both of these models you saw in the review video. Wanna pick one up? You know who to contact, the HunterGT at gmail.com is my email address. I would love and appreciate your business. So great little detectors. Build quality is off the chart. The buttons are great. You know, little rubber, little rubberized cuffs here. Battery compartment, I could deal without the screw. That's my biggest negative about this detector. It's not a depth monster. They're made for kids, you know. It's only about four and a half, five inches on the mini hoard. Or we're looking at six and a half, seven and a half inches on the midi hoard. So you're not digging crazy holes down in there, leaving a mess, anything like that. It's got the cool little scoop and sand sifter the little markers in the mini horde cool kit here the stickers so it's a pretty decent package that mini horde cool kit and the mini horde for the you know the kid that outgrows this one maybe you can bump them right up to this midi horde here with a little bit extra inch inch and a half of depth there so recovery speed not slow not fast right in the middle so pretty good stuff i'm not going to bother with a nail test or anything like that it's not what these are made for so it's made for finding clad and maybe the occasional lucky ring at the lake or the beach or something like that so there you go knock the macro mini and mini horde hope you enjoy these videos the hunter gt sending off i will see you on the next video